wondering. My plug is Foodie Beauty. It's- uh, nobody's wondering. Stop trying to flex because this is not a flex. Everybody knows that the first plaque with the Miriam on it was probably bought, bought off or purchased off of uh, Etsy, I guess, or Timu or wherever you purchase that crap from. Uh, and this one was uh, purchased by you through buying fake subs. So stop it, shut it, and get the fuck out. It's not the everyday Miriam one. Look at all that food that's gonna go to waste. Budak noodle? What? That's so diabetic Hello, friendly. Hello guys! Welcome back to another video. And we have a puta lipstick on full display. Yo, I have another grocery haul for you. Now, the last grocery haul I did, I did claim that claim. I was not going to cook. But I changed my mind, which I do a lot. Let me guess. Glitter tits, birthing hips, salah. Crap that whip. Whoopsh. Bitch, get in the kitchen. But very frequently, and I decided that it's probably best to cook. Um, salah to bring up a good point that, you know, with cooking, I get to control how much salt and, you know, use cleaner oils and stuff like that. So, <laughs> um we just basically know what we're putting in our food when we cook it. And I can also um, also make some cooking content for you guys as well. So, yeah. So I made a meal plan and I got some groceries that I'm going to need. Now, this is going to be, I guess... A th you made a meal plan. Did you or did TikTok make the meal plan for you? That's what I suspect. Three part grocery haul you saw already part one this is part two and i have part three coming up tomorrow we're going to go part to the three. actual grocery store so oh, um, look at you and the reason is is that different places have different things on sale so we are actually smart shopping which is something that is a new concept to me in life what? and i have to say first of all what do you mean this is a new concept stop trolling stop trying to flex stop uh, acting like you've lived in, you've had this lavish lifestyle where you are, you know, just you could just shop anywhere you want to. No, what you did is filed bankruptcy three times, I think, or two times, whatever. I don't even know because you were charging uh, takeout food on your credit cards, not because you were, you know, out there just at the grocery store. What's what would be the most expensive grocery store? in uh canada i don't know what would that be um farmer boy i guess because she always used to brag about that yeah like you were shopping there all the time get out i wish i did it a lot sooner so <laughs> all right so a, a normal um wife or person um that has a partner in the grocery shop typically shops at multiple stores that's what normal people do this isn't like some something uh you discovered or some new thing chantal this online grocery store every tuesday and wednesday they have a sale on certain fruits and vegetables so usually for fruits and vegetables um i like to wait for the sale which i don't always do though but uh you like to wait for the sale or does Glitter Tits Birthing Hip Salah like to wait for the sale because he's trying to hold on to that bag and he doesn't want to waste it on you as far as uh, for food consumption? That's my guess. Um, this is the best place for that. And the, the vegetables that you're going to see here are... Um, from the food 95 bank 95 fills which is like 75 cents or something like that like very 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 cheap so all right let's get to let's get to we have uh markets here in southern california um especially that cater towards um like the more hispanic neighborhoods where you can find fabulous deals on fruits and vegetables so you getting things like i think that was maybe 42 cents a pound is what you're trying to correlate that to uh we get the same deal here in the united states chantal it's it's not a flex 
It's not something new, so just stop. So, I got... Some of them have a max limit, so I got the max limit on everything. For what? Um, to waste? Tomatoes. I think this is a kg, so I have... To what are you going to do with all of those tomatoes? You don't cook enough to use all of those tomatoes. It's insanity. Two kgs of tomatoes. From the food bank. Those never go to waste here. I believe sure. So, yeah. When when have we uh, watched her, you know, do things with tomatoes? I, I, I don't recall anything, actually. Nothing. So, yeah, they go to they go to use right into the garbage can. Um, I got some potato buns. Oh, diabetic friendly. Uh, we have some lemons we have a head of lettuce romaine a really nice looking romaine head of lettuce one head of lettuce that's all you you, you purchased was that just you, you were only allowed to receive one head of lettuce at the food bank Chantal is that the rules now I got couple of these small bags of um barbecue flavor funny faces diabetic i've never family. seen these in canada but i've tried them um yeah 143 calories per bag and they're really good i don't know i like them and the calories because your diabetes is out of control um i don't think the count of the calories is what you should be concerned about, Chantal. And these are heartbreakers. These are ketchup flavor heartbreakers chips. They're like shaped like a heart. All right. Which you don't have one. And that's pretty much all the snacks I got. I got four bags of eggplant. Why are you buying all this eggplant? Why? It's like I said, you're you're getting stuff from the food bank and you're literally taking from the hungry people of Kuwait that actually need that food. Like you cannot possibly be consuming all of this food. It's either going into the garbage can or you're feeding Salah's real family. I love eggplant. I might pickle some, but I'm definitely making baba ganoush. So stay tuned for a baba ganoush recipe. And also I want to try to make some kind of like lasagna with eggplant maybe. We'll see. Like instead of noodles or like eggplant parmesan or something like that. I don't know. I love eggplant. I got two things of carrots for me and Howie. I got three bags. I've never seen you consume a carrot. Never. So, waste. Eggs of red onions. I would have preferred like Spanish or white, but those are always on sale, the red ones. I don't know why. I wish there was more limit to this, but only one per, you know, but this was 75 cents or whatever the conversion is, but a nice, huge, nice head of cauliflower. I love cauliflower. And, all right, we have here... You know, it's funny. I like the fact that her and Amber Lynn, when they do their grocery hauls and they buy, like, all these fruits and vegetables and they proclaim to love these healthy items so much, but yet they are able to maintain their 600 pounds. It's shocking. This was a really good sale. Like it was like four dollars or something like that for two big things of natural honey. I have a little bit of honey in my tea. A, a thing about honey that I've learned is that it's always good to buy honey from your area because of um, for allergy purposes because of you know where the bees pollinate and stuff. So it's always good to buy a local honey if you can. You're not having... She's trying to steal the potato bread. 
because it's a street I love cat. Buns. I don't know why. Street cat. Julia, you can't have it. Are you a carb lover? You're supposed to be a carnivore, you freak. Anyways, this is for a treat. This is not healthy at all. <laughs> but I'm gonna limit it to like once a week or something like that. But the spicy bulldog noodles. I love them so much. So I just got two packs. Sure. That's it. I don't believe that at all. This is a, such a good deal. All of this cheap. Because I buy those noodles because I have a 14-year-old that likes to do those, uh, the spicy challenges or whatever with his friends. So I shop. Uh, the Asian market that we have um, locally here is H Mart. So all of you in Southern California know what I'm talking about. And the noodles come in packs, I believe, of four or five. That's the way you buy them. They don't come separate like that. So stop lying, Chantal. But it's basically the bur like the um, sliced cheese, processed cheese slices. But these are so good. They're the burger ones. And you get like all of this cheese, so four packs of Almarai burger cheese, cheese slices, which are good for like grilled cheese sandwiches, toasted tomato sandwiches on whole wheat or sourdough tomato bread. Tomato sandwich, yeah, okay. Or, on meat, you get all that and that was like on sale. So yeah, I think it was like close to $5. I also got two packs of lean ground beef. I'm going to be making a lot of recipes with that, and I haven't had it in a while, so, yeah, I was yeah. craving it. <laughs> um, more beef here. We have beef. I wonder if uh, that crap that she was eating on her live this morning, um, if Salah, like, made a deal with her, like, saying, okay, I'll buy you this food, but we have to grocery shop and you have to cook that's the only way you're gonna get this food that you want i bet you some kind of barter situation happened uh for for her to be eating that food he wants home-cooked meals because that's how he was raised so chantal chop chop get into that kitchen and be a wife cubes that looks really nice I'm gonna make like different recipes with it sure nice beef curry we have some beef curry no thank you chicken breasts they're frozen full of sodium probably and we have a whole full of sodium frozen chicken griller thing chicken a whole chicken to make like a roast chicken or a you know i'll probably make, try to make caps i don't know about anybody else but those the chickens that she shows they look like baby chickens they're so teeny i mean they're almost the size of a large cornish game hen i don't know they just look weird freakishly small to me which is one of my favorite dishes here 52 dollars big whoop that's not anything special yeah so but yeah the samyang noodles they're very spicy so i only eat one at a time anyway like Lies. it's not like in domi where it's not spicy and you can just eat like a bunch at a time but one pack has 550 calories this is the like i said you do not need to be paying attention to the calories it's especially in those it's the sodium i believe there's msg in those i'm not sure about those ones but um and the carbs and that the calories you and amber lynn don't understand how calories work in the body you do not understand how carbs work in the body you do not understand how sugar works in the body it's like it's mind numbing that you i i don't understand how you don't understand it i it, cheese one and it's so spicy but i love it the flavor so good so this will be like a treat. Keep like on feeding that diabetes. So, not an everyday thing. I used to eat like in Gomi, the instant noodles every day. And they're so high in sodium. So, so are those. 
like, yeah, I'm going to really control myself with that. Those might even be worse because the flavor packet in those is huge. So, I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't have any right now um, downstairs to go look, but I'll, I'm going to look it up online. I think the sodium is probably worse than those. And like, especially with the budak noodles, when you cook those noodles, it's a thicker noodle versus like the indomie noodle are really try really hard to but other than that that's all the fruits and vegetables um i got for this haul like i said tomorrow salah and i are going to go to the actual like jamia which is just grocery store in arabic <laughs> this is an online jamia and we're going to go to the actual grocery store tomorrow i made a whole list of things i need i need some things you know to make the recipes for the week i have like a whole week of meals um written down so there's some i hope you seriously vlog when you go to the grocery store will you i don't know are you gonna send your uh servant boy glitter tits birthing hips a lot to do it for you hmm. things i want a lot to try like that are like you know like western food western recipe so <laughs> something i haven't had in a while you know and i'm gonna make him some things what do you mean western food isn't there like a, a mcdonald's right around the corner isn't there taco bell i'm sure he has had the joy of experiencing western food whilst with you chantal because you love western culture you talk so much crap about it but admit it you're like the little dictator in north korea you talk crap, but you love our culture. You love our food. You're just jealous. And baba ganoush and pita chips. Yummy, yum, yum. Um, I wasn't in the mood to cook like when I did my last grocery haul. You're never in the I mood. But now I am kind of in the mood. Like when I was writing down the recipes and like researching what I want to make, I'm like, yeah, I'm in the mood to cook again. <laughs> Anyways, sure. just another grocery haul for you. The next haul will be in the grocery store. I'm going to vlog in the store and Ooh, i'm excited what it's like and what i get and stuff like that so i actually like the grocery stores here i don't know i like the vibe i like you know just what do you mean the grocery stores there the the, the times that you have vlogged about the grocery store they look just like the grocery stores here in the western world chantal what's the difference what is the difference chantal you I can't believe how you try to um, pump up uh, the Kuwait lifestyle over there when you've literally uh, have shown us all the worst of Kuwait. So just stop. The food. And um, yeah, I'm excited to go. I haven't gone in a long time to the actual grocery store. I like ordering online. It's like less of a hassle, but... Sometimes I missed going into the store and getting to pick up the stuff myself and seeing what they have and, you know. I think the only time I've ever ordered groceries online was during that whole lockdown situation. That was the only time I've ever ordered groceries online. But I like to go to the grocery store because uh, since I cook almost every single day, um, I like to pick out my fresh ingredients. Yes, fresh ingredients. Um, but yeah, it's like a normal thing. Seeing all the sale items they have and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Anyways, I don't know why she's breaking up this grocery haul into three different i guess because she needs the monies um but yeah i've been like watching her lives that she was she's been doing i don't like uh doing a reaction to her lives because uh, number one they're too long majority of the time number two she just talks about a bunch of bs i know they've been spicy lately and she said some bs talking about the usa keep the usa out of your mouth don't step foot in the usa because uh, I, I honestly believe you're on a lot of people's radar here, so you're not welcome. But uh, yeah, all this food that she purchased in this grocery haul, she's not going to cook it. It's going to go to waste. And if she cooks, she might do maybe one, maybe two recipes, and that's probably going to be about it. So that's it for me, guys. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Bye.